So Nikiran Ghosh and welcome back to a new video on this channel. Today in this video I'm going to share a simple step by step process on how to install and configure Selenium uh, Chrome web driver with Python Selenium. So without any further ado let's get started. So the first thing that you need to do in order to install and configure Selenium uh, Chrome driver with Selenium is you just need to open your Chrome browser and click on the three dot icon over here and as soon as you click on this you get to see something like this and I think you already know this so just scroll down and go to settings so once you open chrome settings there are a lot of options over here just don't uh, you don't have to go through all the options just go down and you'll get to see about chrome option over here just click on it and as soon as you click on it you get to see the version and also uh, whether your chrome is updated or not you just need to note down the version over here which is 126.0.6478.127 so the main thing that you need to notice is the first uh, thing over here is 126 right so my chrome version is 126 that is what i need so now just open a chrome tab or any other browser just just open a chrome tab because you, you are using chrome that makes sense uh, just type in chrome web driver 126 and hit enter okay so click on the second link you get to see there I will I will also paste the link in the description below for in your case the uh, the chrome driver might be different but uh, just check the version of your chrome before just going to the before going to the website or before downloading so this is the website i will put the link in the description below so you don't need to worry about that now you are seeing this warning over here which is if you are using chrome version 115 or newer which is in our case we are using a new version of chrome which is 126 uh, you have to consult the chrome for testing availability dashboard and it provides convenient JSON endpoints for specific Chrome driver version downloading. So just click on the hyperlink over here and it will take you to a page like this. Now this is our version 126. It it starts with 126. We also have a 126 version over here. So click on the stable version. There are uh, four types of versions, four types of channels, but for our case we will go for the stable version it is the most stable version you can also go for uh, beta version but uh, it can have some problems you can go for dev or canary but doesn't matter we will go with stable for now just click on stable so uh, this is the page where i was encountering a lot of problems because i was downloading the chrome binary um, and i i already have installed chrome so i don't need the chrome binary so I don't need a Chrome binary. What kind of binary I need is this binary. It is it is a Chrome driver binary. But this is for Linux 64. We we need it for Windows 64. So just search for Windows 64 over here. Okay, so this is the Windows 64 version of Chrome driver. Just copy this link and open a tab, paste it here and hit enter and it will start downloading the zip file of chrome driver but i will not download it again because i have already downloaded it and extracted it i will just show you so let's just go to download and once we go to download we have this chrome driver zip file and i have extracted the zip file so now i have this folder inside the folder i have this chrome driver application file which is chrome driver.ex file and this license dot chrome chrome driver which I don't need at all. I need only this file which is chrome driver.exe. Alright. So now what I did is uh, let's say I want to create a Python Selenium program and I need to access the Chrome driver for that. Otherwise the program will not run. So in that case what I can do is I can either set up a path for Chrome Web Driver and specify that path in the in the uh, in the environment variable and also in the uh, project in the code but that is a lot hectic but if uh, if you there's another way you can do this the other way is you can 
create a project folder inside the project folder you have this uh, python files and you also have the chrome driver you can just copy paste this chrome driver from the download extracted uh, folder to this project folder and you can specify it in the selenium project by this like uh, in the code driver.get sorry not this one this one executable path chrome driver.exe it is under the service section so the code can directly access it because it is in the same folder this is the way you can do it i will just run the code and show it to you and uh, after that i will also show you how to set up a path and how to do it uh, how to set up a path in the environment variables and how to access it from anywhere all right so let me just run this code first okay so now i will just open up my command prompt in here inside this uh, project folder so that i can run the code from directly from here so that i can run the code directly from here uh, python main.py and hit enter it is a google chrome automation project it will just open up google chrome uh, my mouse is not my i am not touching the mouse it is just doing it by itself and you can also see chrome is being controlled by automated test software automated test software and uh, it is it will just open search for my name open my twitter account and close the chrome tab all right so this this was a basic project but you get the gist of it that uh, it can access the chrome web driver so that is that is that was our purpose for the video right but now what if you want to access it through uh, environment variables what if we, what if you want to set an environment variable and you can access the chrome driver from anywhere for that case what we can do is we can just go to local disk c and we can create a folder called web drivers this web drivers folder was not created by default i created it for just to create the environment variable so i created this web drivers folder just create a web drivers folder in local disk c and then inside that web drivers folder just drop that chrome driver application from the download extracted folder so this was the application i just copied this chrome driver application and dropped it inside this web drivers folder now i have this path just copy this path which is c uh, colon slash web drivers copy this path and go to uh, uh okay copy this path and click on right uh, uh, right click on this uh, my pc and go to all right <clears throat> you can do it in a separate way as well system variables just click on just type in system variables and open it and environment variables and you can go to the system variables path double click to open it new and you can enter this which i've already entered and then click on okay okay and okay so now you can access chrome drivers from anywhere so let's just test it just open cmd in not in the project folder but in normal folder so this was in the project folder right this was inside the project folder let's just close this command prompt and this is in the users directory over here now let's just type in chrome drivers over here and let's see if it's uh, if it's working or not if it doesn't work that means we did not set up the path successfully let's just test it out okay so it works starting chrome driver this was my version and only local connections are allowed so this uh, chrome driver was started successfully so this is how you can configure chrome driver with python selenium and also you can set it up uh, independently on the live uh, on the system variable as well and you can access it from anywhere inside your machine so this was all about today's video thanks for watching this video and also if you are new to this channel hit the subscribe button and tap on the bell icon